All right, so uh, now that we have all of our engines, engines standardized and uh, uh, all three stations have the, the, the same E1 engines, we're going to show you the list of uh, hose lays that we have on all three engines. And when we go over these, I want you to think about these, uh, these tack lines on our hose lays as having eight separate hose lays. Even though one of them is the deck gun and the other one's the red line, we're still going to count these as eight different hose lays. So study these, know how to deploy them. Uh, we're going to come out with a list of performance standards as well to show you how to deploy all these lines. So as we start off, we're going to start with the front of the engine and uh, work our way to the back. And uh, the first hose line we're going to come to is the front bumper line. It's going to be loaded with 150 feet of inch and three quarter hose and a fog nozzle. If you remember, this is the inch and three quarter hose and not the FDNY spec or the 1.88 inch uh, hose line. Uh, again, 150 feet with a fog nozzle. So we'll come around to the pump panel. <clears throat> As we come to our cross lays or our other pre connects, your cross lay one, and cross lay two are both going to be the FDNY uh, spec hose or the 1.88 inch uh, hose lines. And on the cross lay one, for now, we have the Vindicator nozzle on it. And uh, on cross lay two, we're going to have the Akron Assault fog nozzle. You can see that these are color coordinated. We've got an orange hose line. The cross lay one is color coded uh, orange. And on the yellow, uh, cross lay two, it's a yellow hose line and it's color coordinated with a uh, yellow bezel around the name. Uh, two and a half cross lay, it's color coded red. And we got the red two and a half inch hose. It's gonna have a smooth bore nozzle with stack tips on it. Your tips are gonna be inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter. You can take those off to change your gallon per minute flow so uh, with the cross lays, let's come back around on the other side. I want to show you the pigtails on the other side. So on this side, you can see our nozzles I was talking about. Cross lay one, again, for now has the Vindicator nozzle on it. Cross lay two has the Akron Assault Fog nozzle. With these uh, cross lay uh, uh, pre-connects, you want to make sure that the pigtails are attached with the couplings facing up and on the captain's side. This is so the first lineman can come out and disconnect these to deploy, to deploy the apartment lay. It's important that both of these are on the captain's side. The two and a half inch cross lay is not gonna have the pigtails on it, okay? There's no reason to uncouple that and shoulder load it. It's uh, too big of a, of a hose load. So we'll come back around on the other side again. We've got over four different uh, uh, hose lines, uh, hose lays. Uh, so we'll talk about the deck gun now. Deck gun's on top. Uh, now it's got the stack tips on it. There's also a fog nozzle tip that can be attached. You take the stack tips off. Uh, up on top with the deck gun, it's also removable and you can set it up as a ground monitor. And the ground monitor base is up here on top by the deck gun. It's easily pulled out and deployed with the deck gun. <clears throat> we also have the red line. So have a fog nozzle on it, an adjustable setting. And we'll come around to the back. So the, the rear hose bed of the pumpers, we've got 300 feet of three and a half inch hose, or excuse me, three inch hose. Uh, this is gonna be for our apartment leg. On the three inch hose, you're gonna have our, uh, our, our gated Y, it's got the two and a half inch discharges with our adapters that go from two and a half to inch and a half so that we can attach cross lays to it to extend uh, our hose lines by using the apartment leg. So again, 300 feet of three inch hose with a gated Y on it. We have a thousand feet of five inch hose. <clears throat> These are going to be stack loaded in the hose, uh, in the hose bed with each stack having 200 feet of hose. This will help it deploy out without the couplings catching on, uh, on engine 29, which has a little bit of a lower frame. Um, uh, that way, uh, uh, the five inch hose will deploy out uh, pretty easily. Uh, again, a thousand feet of five inch hose, stack loaded in the hose bed. <clears throat> so on this side, we're gonna have 300 feet of two and a half inch hose. This is stack loaded as well. We've got a stack of 150 feet on the outside, and then the last 150 feet are bundled together in our standpipe bundle. And there'll be a performance standard that comes out to show how to deploy this uh, standpipe bundle. Uh, 50 feet bundled together with the first loop, and 100 foot of hose bundled together with the second loop. 
And on the nozzle, it's a smooth bore nozzle with stacked tips with an inch and one eighth tip and an inch and a quarter tip on the smooth bore nozzle. So that's uh, all eight hose lays. Uh, attack hose lays for the engines. Uh, study these. If you have any questions, contact your officers or you can contact me. Thanks.